Bodana Stupa, Budha Stupa, one of the great stupas of Nepal. And I'm still in Kathmandu, so the greatest Kathmandu Stupa. And there is a little plaza around, so uh, let's walk around. We can see the Buddhist prayer flags there. Wisdom eyes, and I think, just not sure. I think we can just walk around. There is no entrance, no entrance there. I think I don't see any people walking inside or on the stupa itself, but we will see. I'm wondering if. Is behind this yellow curtain is, is the prayer wheels. Let's check it out. And yes, prayer wheels are here. And of course, since it attracts so many believers and tourists, there are many, many shops catering to everyone. I think I will step back a little bit to get a better view. And it's really imposing. Ah, oh, where is our a little friend taking a nap. Yeah, here is the door in, locked. A little monks. And older monk. Oh, maybe this is the way. There is some very decorated building. I see people on the balcony there. I see incense, I see smoke, I smell incense. So maybe there is some kind of an entrance or a point of view. And check it out. And as in many places in Nepal cities, they are feeding pigeons in plazas and squares. Yeah, this is it. Let's just, let's just zoom in. top of the stupa is gold covered and glistering in the morning sun. And there is quite a few people. So what is this smoke about over there? You get some kind of a blessing. Oh, I see the door open. Let's see if we can go in. And I believe we can. Okay. Oh, very cool. This prayer wheel is just giant. Yeah, this is a prayer wheel. Okay. <laughs> 
it must be some religious offering bells and burning incense and here we have a very nice view and unfortunately that's about it I kind of hoped they will let us walk around but it doesn't look like it Okay. okay, so let me see if I can get anywhere going to the left. Uh, ladies are preparing some vegetables for lunch. And here is the prayer wheel again. Yeah, this man will be blessed. And this is the end of it again. No entry without permission. So let's have a look. And can you see the giant bell and the building behind it? I think we can go in. I'll definitely try that. Okay, let's across the street Sri Buddha and Melamchi Gyanguti I wish I knew what it means but I don't wow and this is another giant prayer wheel and a monk is spinning it. So, I guess the only thing that remains is to climb the stairs. Ah, selfie place. studying over there you can never know enough okay. I'm, I'm sorry thank you okay so I was just told I have to walk twice and here is the statue of Buddha See here. Oh wow. Man and a lady at work cleaning the candle holders. We are pretty high and it's an awesome view. And here, I don't think I'll go inside because I was told that I cannot film inside. But I will take a peek from here. Uh, the 
monks studying and discussing. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, funny thing, the monk on the left looks like an old hippie. Very cool. Hippie monk. And what do we have here? Just a good old neighborhood with prayer flags. So I will finish the circuit and I just realized I am doing it really, really a wrong way. I am not going clockwise. Oh well, I hope I will be forgiven. At least I will see the faces of people who are doing it the proper way. I am really bad. I don't see a single person. Oh, I do. Actually, here I see those two ladies going the same wrong direction. And here is a man. And in the distance, another man. Okay. That makes me feel better that I am not the only dumb foreigner here. A monks walking outside. And another one with a, a red umbrella. And I have almost circumnavigated the stupa. I'm getting closer to the entrance. And it was really interesting. Unfortunately, unfortunately we cannot go in. Here is some interesting information. There are some festivals celebrated here at this stupa. They have listed six of them, but none of them today. There are four monasteries around the stupa and I have visited two of them. And it was severely damaged during the earthquake and they renovated it. And it was enlisted on the World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979. And the uh, dimensions of Dome of Buddha Stupa is 100 feet in diameter, one hectare in width. Uh, I think they probably mean it covers the area of one hectare, which is like two acres. Well, any way you slice it, it's huge. Here is the meaning of different parts of stupa. Number one, mandala, that's on the bottom, mention of Buddha. Number two, dome, symbol of universe or vase of great treasure. The above it is the huge white half dome. And then you have some other parts and 13 steps for complete enlightenment. Above that is lotus, symbol of compassion and purity. And on the top is pinnacle, symbol of Mount Sumeru, king of all mountains. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, and back to the busy street of Kathmandu. Welcome to World Heritage Site. 400 rupees for foreigners. Maybe this will be the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Goodbye. Take care.